We're being joined now by the star of Choose Your Own Adventure and Unbelievable. It's award-winning comedian and AFI-nominated television creator, Lawrence Lung. Thank you. Hello. How are you? Thanks for joining us. The AFI losing Lawrence Lung. <laughs> Come on. Are there any other awards you didn't win we can highlight right now? We can uh, just get right out there. <laughs> I used to be the fastest runner. Then I hit grade three and this new kid came. His name was Patrick. And he was so tall. He was so fast. Wow. He was on drugs. Surely. <laughs> Surely. I've never seen that in your bio. No. It doesn't get a lot of play. The fastest runner to a grade three, Lawrence Lung. Lawrence, might be time to get over it. <laughs> Maybe? <laughs> or actually, you could actually make a whole show out of it, can't you? I probably could. That was the whole point of Choose Your Own Adventure. Yeah, wasn't just, it? just having revenge on people. Yeah, <laughs> wasn't it? What was it like actually going back and going back to your old dreams? I get to try to meet MacGyver. <laughs> I get to wow. break dance. <laughs> I, I was Shabadoo from Electric Boogaloo. Uh, I get to try to find my uh, primary school grade three sweetheart and give her a love letter that I never gave to her at the time. Yes. Um, so, yeah, the ABC taxpayer was paying me to stalk people. To stalk people, yeah. exactly. <laughs> Let's talk about one of your other TV series that you've created, Unbelievable. Oh, thank you. Yeah. That's what it's called. <laughs> 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 Is it true that uh, you actually pitched that as... Ghostbusters meets Mythbusters. Because how do you make a, a comedy show about the supernatural but it's also heavily, you know, scientific and about yeah. scepticism? Uh, I, I thought Ghostbusters meets Mythbusters is the best way to do it. One of the things you talk about UFOs in, in Unbelievable yeah. and yeah. you actually trick people, is that right? You actually, yeah. well I've seen the episode so I know for a fact, but uh, you actually took photos of just random objects. Yeah, yeah, I took uh, photos of... Uh, you know, kettles, pots and pans, and I was throwing them up in the sky, taking photos of them, then asking UFO experts in Roswell what they thought of them. Uh, and, yeah, a lot of people believe that they were real, genuine UFOs. Including an uh, Andre Rieu CD. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I think got... that's what you call an orchestrated hoax. <laughs> yes, it is. I, uh, <laughs> I got the... Oh, God. <laughs> Keep moving, Lawrence. <laughs> I watched an entire Andre Rieu DVD and I couldn't work out what it was either. So you're not far, <laughs> you're not far from the truth. It's supernatural. <laughs> it yeah. is, definitely. It's like, when did Frasier learn how to play the violin? This is driving me crazy. This is the big one, though. Yes. Is there a Star Wars character named after you? Yeah, there is, actually. Please tell me your middle name isn't Jar Jar. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I don't have a Star Wars character named after me, but at school I was called Jabba quite a lot. So. <laughs> Another one of your big honours, of course, uh, Lawrence, hosting Rage. Yes. What was oh, that like? Oh, that was... That was one of the highlights of my life. I, I always remembered being a teenager coming home late at night watching Rage, trying to go, OK, I just want to watch one more song before I go to bed, just one more song. <laughs> and then it'd be like six in the morning. Yeah, it, yeah. And I wanted to have that experience where I got to guide someone, or some stoners, <laughs> keep, some, <laughs> yeah, keep yeah. stoners awake all night. I too have hosted Rage. You have? Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it was actually just um, hosting Bros after 15 beers. <laughs> it's not quite the same. It's not quite the honour that yeah. you've had. There's a lot of anger management songs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now, Lawrence, thank you so much for coming on the show today. It's thank been you. great. Oh, it's been a pleasure. Thanks very much, guys. Thanks.